Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we learned that Maya has been kidnapped by a mysterious assassin named The Killer, very clever name. And in this episode, we were given the task of defending a man named Matt Ungard, who has been accused of the crime, and we need to make sure that he is acquitted of all charges or else Maya's life is in direct danger. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about that today. Good morning. Uh, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick! Come on, let's hurry and see Mr. Unguard! We have to wait a bit, Pearls. The visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Uh, Mystic Maya, if only... If only I went with you that time. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow, yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearls got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick! Mystic Maya! She's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please... Please, help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearls is doing the crime for both of us. No matter where I look in this familiar space I call my office. No, I can't my let my mind wander, wander now. I don't have the time. I've got to get going on this case. So that happens pretty much whenever you investigate something. So, this is serious time. It's time to get down to this and save Maya's life. Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. Unguard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty verdict to save Mystic Maya? Pearls. Let's talk about Mr. Unguard f Let's talk to Mr. Unguard first, okay? We can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Y yeah you're right. I'm sorry. I- I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls. You're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I- I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family? My father? He left my mother in the village behind and went away. Sorry. And... My mother? She did that thing... All for me. Mystic Maya. She's like a sister to me. He is all I have left in this world. We couldn't wait for we couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin Ninja. Good morning. How are you today? I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is... You know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I don't need that right now either. Huh? Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so... No, 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 we're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. 
You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make him let me take this case. I have to. This theme is awesome, by the way. I absolutely love it. Smile, you're on candid camera. Mr. On Guard keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera up on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there. He wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Mr. On Guard. This is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have time to take a lawyer's correspondence course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance and extinguishers? Now this! Yeah, I'm such a handsome devil. Uh... Um, yeah. And I'm way good at sports. Karate, tennis, judo, soccer, football, hockey, fencing. Dude, it's no wonder I'm so popular. Um, uh, um, yeah. You're also good at sitting in a jail cell, Mr. Popular. Alright. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so if I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm going to be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask my publisher, okay? Mr. Ungard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone here he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm, I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If we're talking about Mr. Ungard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick? What's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city the Nickel Samurai protects. Huh? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You're going to give one after the winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while well, you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know. That's odd. Mr. Nick? What are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Huh? Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist? Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man. Lawyers these days. Now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too? If you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer is going to- Wait. What did you just say? The killer. The killer. 
What's he doing? Looks like he's mulling something over. All right, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. He doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Man, I think my lucky star is that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Aww. Oh, it's really great to be the Steel Samurai. Or the Nickel Samurai, sorry. Got my samurais confused. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. I guess Mr. Unguard has a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze. That's why this... That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. Everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had the post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to have after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, I was leaving my room. That's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karita was already dead at that time? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. With the way he's talking... With the way he's always talking about his manager, it's as if she runs his life. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita. What sort of... It's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with a face of his... With that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. You wanted to try making the German Ninja movie even though we all know it'd fail. Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you think it'd be the other way around, you know? Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Gemma Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or my hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it in there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. On Guard to see if he's really innocent or not. We can do that? Yes! If you use this... My Esmagatama. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Carita? Please put the phone away and answer the question yourself. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Carita, okay? Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means, I think it's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude.